it was class 106. It was it was uh, the summer of 2001. It was really hot summer. Uh, we had just started about six weeks prior, and then 9/11 hit. <laughs> We were doing physical training in the morning, and then the news came out pretty early, what was going on, and throughout the day, just like everybody else, we were getting the information. So that very next morning, which is September 12th of 2001, uh, Lieutenant Marcus Foskey, who was our training instructor, he, uh, he just spontaneously said, hey, how many towers, how many flights were those towers? And we said, 110, sir, and okay, well, we're gonna do our physical training today and we're gonna finish the climb. He told us to get all of our gear on, get our air pack, and get our hose bundle, which is a pack of hose that we would carry up to the top of the tower. He said, we're gonna finish the climb. He told us we're gonna do it silently and we wanna think about the day's events just that were still really fresh in everyone's mind and uh, we're gonna keep quiet, we're all gonna finish together uh, and finish the climb that they couldn't do the day prior. Pretty quickly we determined that, hey, that, let's do it next year and, and now we're 20 years later. And around this third or fourth year, uh, Chad Messersmith, Lieutenant Messersmith, he uh, had the idea to, do, to print up the dog tags. Each person grabs a group of five to ten dog tags and each one of those has the name of the firefighter that was killed, their rank, their unit assignment. And it just makes a little connection there because you put a face to a name and uh, it allows you to uh, fi help finish their climb that they never ever, ever got a chance to do. It is our job as the more senior people, uh, whether it be in the firefighting profession, the teaching world, to pass on the information of previous generations. And I think that this memorial climb uh, is a way for our new firefighters uh, to be able to experience that even though they may not have been born when 9-11 occurred. We are doing our small part to never forget.